Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup look is going to be a date night makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy. Please like and subscribe and let's get started with the video. First, I am going to moisturize my face with the Kiehl's Ultra Moisturizer. This is a really good moisturizer, especially for me because I have dry skin. Then I go in with my Too Faced Major Hangover Primer and I put that all over my face. And then I go in with the YSL Blur Primer and I'm just going to be focusing this on my T-zone. So my nose, my forehead, and my chin. This helps eliminate any pores from showing and it really does get the job done. Then I go in with my Anastasia's Beverly Hill Contour Cream Kit in the shade Coral. If I have any discoloration on my face, I usually start with this, just so when I put my foundation over it, um, you don't see any marks or discoloration. Then going in with my new favorite foundation, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I gotta say, this stuff is really good. It gives you a nice matte finish, so if you don't like matte, I probably wouldn't suggest it to you, but it really does give you a airbrush finish and it just makes your skin look so amazing. I go in to contour my face so for concealer I'm using my Sephora collection brightening concealer this is like my OG favorite placing it under my eyes and above my forehead and on my chin and then I'm going in with the LA contour this isn't my favorite but I haven't used it in a while so I wanted to give it a try the only complaint I have is that sometimes it can be a little difficult to blend if you leave it on your face for too long um, so you definitely have to blend fast. Then I just take a small brush and I use a little bit of the contour and I contour my nose. I have a very round nose so I like to make it look a little more slim, um, but you can skip this step if you don't care to do that. And then I'm just setting everything with my Laura Mercier setting powder in the shade Translucent. For my brows, I am going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. And then on top of that, I'm going to do the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Um, I didn't used to always use this, but this is great if you want your eyebrows to last and, you know, stay perfect all day. And then I am just going to clean up anything, um, any mess I made with my eyebrows with my concealer. This helps just make it look a lot more clean and sharp. Then I'm going in with my new favorite bronzer. This is the Mented Bronzer. They just came out with um, some new bronzers. I used to always be afraid of bronzers because I was like, I have dark skin and I didn't know, you know, what shades to use, but this company did a really good job with coming up with a bunch of shades that fits everybody's skin type. Then I'm going in with my Subculture palette from Anastasia Beverly Hill. And first I am going in, I go in with Fudge, um, but then later on I add the shade Roxy above the crease, um, just because I wanted a little more definition, so I put the orangey shade Roxy above my crease and then the shade Fudge in my crease. 
and then you just want to go back and forth and blend as much as you want um, everyone's preference is different so for me I like to take my time and do a lot of blending because it just makes your eyes really pop Now I just use the Morphe palette and I'm going to be applying this shade all over my eyelid um, just to kind of give it a little sparkle. This is the shade Rose Quartz from the Morphe 9C palette. And then just go back in and blend like I said. Take your time with it. Blend as much as you want. Now I am going in with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Um, this is my favorite um, eyeliner to use. I use it all the time. So I use this just to give myself a little bit of a wing. Um, I'm going to be wearing some dramatic eyelashes. So sometimes when you have um, a winged eyeliner, it just really helps enhance the eye look. Now I'm going in with the Ardell Double Up Lashes. I believe these are the 113. I didn't show me applying them just because I was having some difficulty. And then I'm going in with my Urban Decay Blush. I think they discontinued this palette, um, so I don't think you can get it. Um, but now I'm going in with my Uama Highlighter. This is the shade Barbados. And I'm going to be applying that on my nose, um, on both sides of my cheeks, a little bit on the forehead and over my top lip and now I'm going in with the mented lipstick this is a really great nude lipstick for me and then above that I go in with my Fenty gloss And then I'm just going to be using this spray from Beauty Bakery. This is a really nice spray. I like to use it to set everything. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope you have fun recreating it for your date night. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.